are on our way to Norway. <laughs> Protein shake, protein chips, so this chips made out of cheese. <laughs> More cheese. Chicken. Chicken. Chicken what? Um, more chicken, popcorn, chips. Protein loading before the plane flight. The most stressful part of it is over. coffee in Norway mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna see what the water situation the wave situation or what the ocean is like out there and if it's not too crazy we might go and join my dad um, putting out lobster traps are those them right there? yeah see if you can see them here okay. mm -hmm. should be it should fun. be fun it's beautiful Beautiful fall day in Norway. We'll show you much more. Later. First coffee. It's actually not the first coffee. We couldn't vlog on the first coffee. Oh, yeah, this is the, the second, second coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, actually. You're getting it? Yeah. I think Good so. for you. All right, we are going on the boat. Show the boat. We're Here's going the lobster. Boat. We're going to go out on that boat. <laughs> And uh, my dad has a lobster certificate in our way, so he, legally we can go and uh, put out traps for lobster traps, and hopefully we'll have lobster for dinner tomorrow. Let's do it. Yes, it's not unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> There. Yeah. There's a van lifer over there too. Oh yeah, so you see, yeah, it looks like a good spot. Extremely stank fishes. Oh, they're so stinky. Bring them stank fishes <laughs> oh, cool. now. Can I get a close-up of the stank? Yeah. To lure a thousand lobsters. And how about here? Do lobsters later. We are going back out to see if there's any lobsters waiting for us. I know, it's exciting. I think I see a crab. No lobster so far. But that's good, right? But we still have uh, eight more, seven more traps to go. Yeah. So we might be lucky, but we still got crabs. That's pretty cool. So we're thinking that there's something wrong with our bait, so we're gonna fish a little bit and get some better fish or a better bait, hopefully, so we can get lobsters another day. Okay, fish here? I think so. Yeah. Or maybe I have something else. Yeah, it doesn't move like a fish. Maybe I lost it. Smallest fish. <laughs> the smallest fish you ever saw. It looks like it's already dead, too. Yeah, I killed it. Oh my god. <laughs> What is it? Yeah. It's a big fish. Yep. Don't lose it. Get me. I want to show that it's me getting this fish. 
I did it. Okay. Shit. Yeah, yeah, coming. It's a big one. Oh my god, it's a big one. Oh my god. <laughs> she did it. What? Wow, that, that's good eat. Oh my god. What? It's a torsk. Torsk, it's a cod. Yeah, that's delicious. I gotta get closer. We have dinner. Look at my cod. Good cat. Holy crap. How does it feel to catch a great cod like that? Feels pretty good. Like self-sufficient, you know. We need nothing but a fishing rod and Strong obviously a father with a boat who knows how to drive the boat and fish. Could you see yourself living on a boat? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Forget man life. We go boat life all the way. Papa, Chris has two fish. I have a store fish. No, I'm stuck in the bottom. I think. Oh my God, that's a the same cod, right? Wow. Yeah. Two cods? Uh -huh. We eat well tonight, at least. That's a little one. Oh, yeah, it's a mackerel. A little mackerel, right? Where is he? I never catch your fish on camera. What kind is he? Mackerel? Sai. Sai? Sai. You know, good Sorry. bait or food? No, this for the, using for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crab and cod for dinner tonight. Pretty good treat. <laughs> She's doing it. She's. <laughs> it's, it's yummy. Just don't think about it. Just. <laughs> Those delicious cod that we had. Okay. Just a New Yorker. Oh Those... man, some of these are alive. I guess they're all I think alive. All of them are alive. <laughs> <They're> all, alive. <laughs> all of them. Be cool. Are... Be chill about it. Look, like they're eating the cod. Yeah, Look at this, he's grabbing the cod. He wants some to Can I have this cod? You greedy little man. Greedy. All right, so now we're going to clean this fish and then we're going to, I guess, cut it somehow. How's it going? Good. Water is boiling. Pan is ready. Pan is ready. Fish is being expertly prepared. It's cruel. I need more coffee for this. I just woke up. We just woke up and now we're going back out on the water because my dad doesn't believe that our bait is good enough. So we're gonna go buy better bait and switch out the old bait with new, fresh, old, stinky fish. But there is a chance that the bait is good and there would be lobster just sitting there waiting. Whoa. Three days on a boat, are you kidding? Three days in a row. It's pretty sweet when you wake up and you just jump right out on a boat. Yeah. To go look for lobsters. It's something you can't do in New York City. It's pretty cool. That was a nice one too. I saw it. A few days later, we left for Oslo, so my dad had to finish the job by himself and ended up getting two lobsters, which we actually ate for Christmas. Christmas land. That's what this is. Little frog. I'm gonna move. There you go. Little. Little frog. What's for lunch? Fish cake and a tortilla. This cake I could eat tortilla. Yeah, this is tortilla. Nice. Mm. Okay.
there's uh, an artist who lives in this cabin, or I'm not sure if he actually lives in the cabin or if he just has a vacation in that cabin, but he builds these awesome statues out in the forest. So cool. So cool, yeah. It's just a, basically a piece of wood that he uses a motor saw, I guess, yeah. to create these awesome um, artistic pieces, yeah. Cool. We're in Asgal, which is like an hour and a half away drive from Mandal. So it's a little bit more north of the southern town of Mandal. And we're staying at Eichirab and Yastigur, which is this very kind of back to the past kind of old timey farm. What is it? It's very cute, very yeah. cute. We're gonna go for a hike now and see some more nature. How are you liking Norway so far? Unbelievably beautiful, even in the fall. The air is so oh. fresh. It's like not humid, but not dry. It's like perfect, perfect air. Oh, we will try to get you some footage here. Here we go. <laughs> this is just common Norway stuff. <laughs> Those are sheep though, right? Yeah, those are sheep. That's pure wool. We're running behind. We gotta go catch up with the rest of the family. Let's go but drink the coffee first. Drink the coffee. <laughs> so I've been bragging about my shoes and they're great for uh, many types of hikes, but not wet moss in Norway or whatever this type of what is this type of swamp lands this, or whatever you can't, we can't walk swamps in these shoes I mean you can you're just gonna get soaking wet so I have to go and look for better hiking shoes that can take some swamp you swamp just need fall grounding <laughs> crazy wet feet right now I'm going to show you the advanced ape technique. We are going on our first nature hike in Oslo. This fake snow is super <laughs> slippery. <laughs> My best friend Chris said that this place looks like a scene from Love Actually. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> 